I understand you were quite a big stoner when you first came to Crenshaw House. So how does it feel to have been clean now a few months? Feels pretty good. <laughs> You're happy about it, I guess. I think of good times when it's hot like this. I go right back to La Paz. Oh, La Paz. Yeah. The Paris of Baja. Well, my ex-boyfriend Chad and I would go back and forth between La Paz and the States, ass-muling drugs. Oh, that's yeah. right. It's a summer job. My mom made me get a job. Good for you taking initiative like that. We'd drink beer and have sex and have sex and then drink beer. And mm, good times. That's what the summer reminds me of. I just can't well, help it. It does, you know. It's a sexual time. You have your lift? No, thanks. Come on, give a guy a break. I'm not going to hurt you. Just trying to make a living. I have three hungry little mouths to feed at home. I think I'll just wait for the bus. Ah! You know before the next bus even gets here. <laughs> You're probably right. Let me guess. A breeze side? Impressive. All right. Why not? So, how old are your kids? I don't have any children. You said you. This is the first piece out of my line designed by me came from inside me and i would like you to wear it for the very first day of the podcast it's kind of a uh, disgusting color oh. it looks like somebody threw up on it yeah. it's just for you i look like i look like the jolly green giant it's, it's, not, not giant it's puke oh, green Jack, just try it on i'm not wearing Come it on, this is part understand? of the thing I, it's my webcast and i want my line in the you. thing you, you know, take it off and i want no. you to do it it's on the mom. jumpsuit stop it kathy take off your sweater we wouldn't have to do this if you <laughs> weren't a baby you, Jack, you don't do that you don't do that to a lady you got to tell a story we should be telling a story is that what you think you said yourself you don't care about any of this stuff so you know what mr finkelstein fisher you don't get an opinion. I'm VP of Decker Hill Designs now. You're kidding me, VP? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You always wanted that. Yeah, that's, that's thank you. Great. Yeah. You seem really happy. You seem, I mean, you look, as always, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You too. You look I gorgeous. Look gorgeous? But mm -hmm. like the male kind of uh -huh. gorgeous. Which is? Very masculine. Uh huh. The they, word they is? They call that. Handsome. Yes. Put some, it on the board. Absolutely. Some people call yeah. that handsome. Uh -huh. So, where were you today between 315 and 340? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I called you one, two, three, four, five, six times between 315 and 340, and you didn't pick up. You write down every time you call me? Well, we're dating. I'd like to know where you are. Every minute of every day? Yes. Really? <laughs> really? I'm going to go carve Mr. Chicken now. All right. <laughs> so, where do you think you were? Just take a guess. I don't know. I think uh, maybe I was... Liar! Love me? Uh... 60 billion children go to bed hungry every night in America. When I was 16, I was statutory raped. I went out to that frat party a girl, and I came back a woman. But I survived. Yeah. And I think that's the noblest thing a person can do, survive. I deserve cotton candy. I like to play. Reception is an art. If you think about the meaning of the word, it's receiving. I smile at you, and you're smiling back at me. Well, good morning to you, too. 
You can't help it. It's infectious. You know that's plastic, don't you? If I didn't care. Well, I'll be. My job is to bring people together, not to pull them apart. But, you know, the line of decency has to be drawn somewhere. Get up.